six miles from downtown Boston in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, the site of today's exciting matchup. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is on the field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it pitches back and down he goes at the 33 yard line they run the option and it's the tailback who gives them an 8 yard gain on the play Gets it on the counter left. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. Caught over the middle. They complete that play-action pass. Good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. He makes his way to about the 38. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. throws it away good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play it's third down nine to go ball on the 37 he wants it all hey this guy's got to forget about the drop remember he was in good position to make a play They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll get him for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen, and he's taken down around the 21-yard line. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Third down again. Bring him down around the 39 yard line. He 
He's scrambling. And brought down at the 38. Kirk, we got a player down, obviously in some pain. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's tackled at the 33. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. That brings up fourth and three. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And now he's going to run. He goes out of bounds around the 26-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. He's on the run. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From the 15-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 79-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 7-0. Boston College is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles are right where they want to be early in this one, part. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 34 strike, 34 strike. He's coming. Check it out. Gets to about the 44-yard line. throws it away third down and they need to get it inside the 47 going long and it's intercepted not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that back? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Eagles in front, 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Boston College is up seven. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. It's second and 12. Ball on the 17-yard line. He 
he's going to go for the home run. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his wide out. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Push him out at the 41. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Boston College is up a score. Wade fakes the handoff. Quick throw to the tight end. He's at the 20. What a play! Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. He makes it to the six-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That brings him second and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tacks on the extra point. The Eagles running back. Sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. He has it at the five. Got the corner. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 44. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. The first rule on offense, the ball pops free. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review of the play, play the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. It's second and five here. Ball on the 49. He scrambled. Going for it all to the end zone. Doesn't get there. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. It's the tailback. Up the middle for a nice game. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. 
this punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes at the 39. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Fights forward to about the 49. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He makes the PAT. A nine play, 81 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. From the eight yard line, tackle at the 36. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Five wide. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. hit out of bounds around the 32-yard line. receiver who's all alone to the 20 he'll take it all away for the touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point and it 
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boston College is really putting a hurting on him right now. Well, you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this offense, but we've seen a completely different looking team, and they're executing at a much higher level. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting that to see how he can have an impact on this drive. From their own 27-yard line, second down. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. 21-7, Eagles. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This team has played its tail off in the first half. I mean, they, they've been committed. They've been relentless. They built a two-score lead when Phillip, nobody thought that they... Phillip, but, oh. You know me pretty well, David, but... They're not used to being here. No. This is a different kind of experience for them. What's the key for them to handle? Well, it, it is tough, and that's why you see teams that are experienced, that are battle-tested, that have that are proved that they can win in these moments. They seem to be more at peace, and they seem to make more plays. When you haven't been there, you don't know how you're going to react. So it's going to be interesting to watch these guys. You know, being up two scores is not something that they probably envisioned. They, they envisioned somehow pulling a shocking, miraculous upset, maybe a Hail Mary or a last-second field goal. So I'm really going to be curious to see this second half, how they come out, if they can stay aggressive, and, and they can realize, shoot, 30 minutes away, boys. That's it, 30 minutes, and big things can happen. I know you're hoping for the last-second field goal. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. The Tigers. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. From the five-yard line. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. on the run brought down at the 33 yard line third down and they need to get it to the 27 fires out quickly with the tailback they'll bring him down at the 19. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19. A little toss across the middle. The 10, the 5, touchdown Eagles. And he 
adds the extra point. A five-play, 65-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He has some room. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Around the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 50. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Well, player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. From midfield, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Let's it go. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it seven and six. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. He gets out to about the 9-yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Third down again. The Tigers wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Got his man, can't tack out any yardage. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down there. Kicks up, and it's good. Clemson kicked this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Clemson's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's got it with room to run. He's at midfield. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First and 10. 
Ball on the 43-yard line. He's tackled right around the 40. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. From the 22-yard line, first down. to about the five. They'll get him for a loss. Fourth quarter is here, and it's starting to look more and more like an upset is imminent. 28 to 10, Boston College. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike's 42, Mike's 42. Blue seven. He's scrambling. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Caught open field, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 43-yard line. First down. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Oh, 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 48. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. run there good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of it Howell is waiting for the snap touchback nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero a comeback is just not happening and they make the stop around the 37 yard line when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want them we have less than a minute to go. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's hit immediately. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He makes the PAT. quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. This one's in the books. 
The Eagles come out on top, 31-17. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. I'm not sure this one has sunk in quite yet. Clemson entered this contest as big-time favorites, and now they walk off the field in a state of shock. There are no excuses in this one. They were simply outplayed. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.